right, today we're going to attempt to use one of these uh, Pathmate molds with the, the barrel they sell. And uh, I'm going to try adding some colorant on top, but it's a liquid colorant, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. But let's uh, see what happens. So this is the odd job uh, mixing barrel, and if we take a look, I bought 60 pound bags, and I don't know if we'll be able to see it on here, I say 60 pounds, we put in three quarts, and the lid equals one and a half quarts as well as it's got these little, you know, right there is one and a half quarts. So hopefully I have enough water to come out of my well without hooking up the generator. But uh, I'll see about uh, mixing up my first batch. All right, so we got a 60 pound bag of quick here. All right, let's add. According to the infomercial now, flip it on the side and move away. problem on the infomercial. Not cool.
going to let that set up for a few seconds. And this is the colorant I got. It's a liquid colorant. I'm not using it as it's intended, where you're supposed to actually mix it in with the concrete and then pour it on. I'm going to try something different just to see what it looks like when it comes out. Look at how this is designed. The distance, the thickness of all the walls. If you stick two of these right next to each other, you're going to double up the thickness of that wall where the two meet. So, from what I've read or watched or heard, whatever, um, you only want to use one at a time. So, it won't be as fast as they advertise because you have to wait for that one to set up before you put the next one down. But you don't want to use them both next to each other. So.
time just to see how it turns out. I'm gonna screen it off and then add the dye. And after a few days of curing, uh, this is what I ended up with. I think I might do one more with like a half mix or playing with how I add the colorant. But I don't know.